Hi guys, so when running for political office, a candidate should try to explain how voting for them will benefit either people individually with specific examples or how backing them will be good for the country. However, once somebody has been in office, let's say for 12 years, it should be easy to point to something that they have achieved while elected. Perhaps they pushed for a bill to feed hungry children or a piece of legislation to deal with homelessness or how about a boost to benefits or even a back to work scheme. Therese Coffey, the Secretary of State for the Department of Work and Pensions, was on LBC trying to come up with something Liz Truss has achieved, and all she could say was, Beavers. I kid you not. What specific things has she delivered that have benefited our listeners and changed their lives for the better? I think when she was a chief secretary with uh, Philip Hammond, uh, I think as chancellor, uh, certainly in terms of starting to get a grip on the public finances, uh, which is important that, of course, that we spend um, carefully and um, our taxpayers' money on behalf of taxpayers, but also making sure that we are with an agenda of trying to grow. It's important that we have that, and that's her plan of that element of cutting in taxes to stimulate growth mm. in the future, but also recognising the inflationary challenges that we have. So, you know, she's got an agenda to do sensible uh, uh, regulation changes to unlock potential and unleash that, including some of the Brexit opportunities that we have today. It all sounds, with respect to it, slightly vague, talking about... Of course it's vague, because she can't actually come up with any specific examples. Because there are none. <laughs> because Liz Truss hasn't actually done anything. She talked here about um, getting a grip on the finances of the country. But public, uh, public expenditure, investment in public services has gone down and borrowing has gone up. Now, I know that's not specifically a problem for Liz Truss to deal with. That's more to do with the, the Treasury and the Chancellor. But this is what she brought into this, uh, into this discussion. This is what she introduced as an example of something that Liz Truss has achieved. But once again, you know, if you really had an example, you could point it out. You could say, look at this piece of legislation that she introduced into the House of Commons. This is a perfect example of how it's helping ordinary people and the listeners to LBC. But of course, she doesn't do that because it doesn't exist. About, you know, her focus on food and the, fixing the public finances. It strikes me that if you're going to put delivery at the heart of your pitch for government, you should have a long list of specific things that you've done in government in your years in the cabinet that you can point to. And I'm not sure that she can. Well, I, I've just uh, set out some there. I mean, uh, for people who understandably care about the environment, uh, that was an important part of her agenda. Uh, she was the first person to actually reintroduce beavers. She uh, states... Is that really her big achievement from the well, seven I'm, years I'm in government? i an example of uh, something that... There you have it. Beavers. Now, nothing against beavers. And it's a good idea to introduce beavers into back into uh, waterways and lakes and and those areas um maybe it's been it's beneficial to the environment but this is the legislation that therese coffee is pointing to to help ordinary people yes it's good for the environment but how does this actually help ordinary people there are people who are struggling to pay their bills at the moment there are people who are struggling to feed their families and the response from therese coffee and liz truss is beavers this is beyond parody. Really, if this was a comedy show, you'd say this is pretty poor comedy. Maybe some people would find it funny. I don't think most people do. Beavers. Liz Truss has done nothing. Liz Truss is only interested in further furthering her own career. She doesn't care about ordinary people. She doesn't care about the Conservative Party. She doesn't care about the country. She cares about becoming Prime Minister. Now, she probably will become Prime Minister. And she'll likely be kicked out pretty soon because she's incompetent and she doesn't have the charisma that Boris Johnson has. So if there is a general election and Liz Truss is leading the Conservative Party, it's likely, unless the Labour Party really mess up or unless there's some sort of crisis, it's likely that she will lose the majority that uh, Boris Johnson won. And then the Tories will be doing a bit of navel gazing and trying to understand what the hell went wrong. When re in reality, we all know what, what went wrong. You chose a terrible leader. But the people who chose the leader are a crazy fringe. 
and the late and the conservative party need to get rid of that fringe if they want to win power once again let me know in the comment section guys what you think about all of this as always your comments are greatly appreciated thanks a lot